Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing what main idea is. If you remember when we talk about main idea, anytime we talk about it, we say main idea, mostly about. So we're going to read this paragraph over here together and then use these five words to complete the five blanks on our chart to review what main idea is. So it says there are a few ways that we can blank main idea. We can, good, that we can find the main idea. First, look at blank and the pictures. When you look at a text, what are the first two things we always look at? The pictures and the, good, the title of a text. Now, what do you think this text is going to be about? Next, read what? What do you read after you've looked at the pictures and the title? Yeah, we're gonna read the whole text. We have to figure out what it's about. So we're gonna need to read it first. Then ask yourself again, what is this text mostly about now that you've looked at the title, the pictures, and you've read the whole text? Sometimes you find the main idea in the first or the last what of a text. Exactly, in the first or the last sentence of a text. And don't forget to look for blank words that are used repeatedly within the text. If a word is repeated over and over and over again in a text, it's usually a what? It's usually a clue to what the whole text was about. So let's read the whole thing together. There are a few ways that we can find the main idea. First, look at the title and the pictures. What do you think the story will be about? Next, read the text. Then ask yourself, what is the text mostly about? Sometimes we can find the main idea in the first or the last sentence. And don't forget to look for clue words that are used repeatedly within a text. So now we're going to read a text about thunderstorms. Anytime we talk about main idea, we're talking about text that is informational. If something is informational, everything inside of that text is a what? Good. Everything in a text is going to be a fact. So that means everything that we read is going to be true. It's information that is true. So before we read our story about thunderstorms, we're going to read these four vocab words up here together, and we're going to go over what they mean. These four vocab words are words that we might see within our text, words we will see within our text, that we need to go ahead and know what the definition is. If we know what the definition is beforehand, it'll make it easier for us to comprehend what we're reading. So the first word we're going to go over is isolated. Isolated. If something is isolated, that means it stands alone. It's by itself. The second word is dangerous. I'm sure many of you already know what dangerous means. If something is dangerous, it can cause you harm. Our third word we're going to review is called sturdy. If something is sturdy, it's strong. Nothing's going to happen to it. And then our final word is rumble. Rumble is just a continuous, loud sound. So let's read our text together. I want you to read it out loud while you're at home, too. Thunderstorms are dangerous. Every thunderstorm contains lightning, and lightning kills more people each year than hurricanes and tornadoes. Do you know what to do to remain safe during a thunderstorm? First, Go inside a sturdy building or a vehicle and close the windows. Furthermore, the National Weather Service recommends to stay inside for at least 30 minutes after the last rumble of thunder is heard. Do not use telephones or electrical equipment and avoid taking showers or being near running water. If you're unable to get safely inside, avoid taking cover beneath isolated trees also, avoid water, high ground, or metal objects. Knowing what to do in a thunderstorm can save your life. So, when we looked at this chart over here, we remember that it tells us, look for clues, a word that's repeated over and over and over. So, what was a word that was repeated many times in this text over here? Good, that word was thunderstorms. So we know that this text was something about thunderstorms. So we have to figure out what about thunderstorms were they trying to tell us? 
So to figure out our main idea in three details, we're going to use a chart that we've used before that looks like an ice cream cone. So at the bottom, we're going to put our main idea. And then each scoop represents one key detail that we're going to find from this text over here. So we already pointed out that a word that was repeated over and over was thunderstorms. But what about thunderstorms? What do you notice that they're trying to tell you about thunderstorms? They're trying to tell us ways that we can stay safe or go through a thunderstorm without getting hurt or injured. So we're going to put there are certain actions you need to take to stay safe in a thunderstorm. If you said anything like they're telling us ways to stay safe in a thunderstorm or ways to not get hurt in a thunderstorm, you're also right. So our main idea is going to go at the bottom. The cone is the main idea because it's the support. It's the piece that holds the whole story together, what it was all about. So now we have to find three details that help us know that there are certain actions that you have to take in order to stay safe. So we're going to find some things that we have to do in order to stay safe. What is a signal word that helps you know the order that things are happening in that you see in this text? Good. First. First is one that tells us it's the beginning of a list. It's the start of something. So it says first... Go inside a sturdy building or vehicle and close the windows. Is that one way that you can stay safe? It is. So we're going to put that as our key detail, our first key detail. Key details don't have to go in any specific order as long as they support what you choose for your main idea, what the whole story is mostly about. Remember, main idea, mostly about. All right, so let's look. What's another thing that we can do, another action or another thing that we can do to stay safe in a thunderstorm? Do you see one? Good. One that stands out is don't use telephones, electrical equipment, and avoid taking showers and running water. These are another set of things, this three things, four things, excuse me, that can keep us safe if we're in a thunderstorm. And recently we've had a lot of thunderstorms, so this can relate. This is, can help us stay safe in the next thunderstorm that may come through. All right, again, it doesn't matter what order. So if you wanted to put it as the top ice cream cone, you could, that's okay. All right, so we need to find one more final detail that's just a way for us to stay safe or a way to make it through a thunderstorm without getting hurt. So I'm going to let you look at it for a second. What's another way that we can stay safe during a thunderstorm? Very good. If you're outside, it lists some things that you should avoid. It tells us avoid trees, avoid water, avoid high ground, and even metal objects. It lists out four things that we need to do in order to stay safe in a thunderstorm, if we're outside, we have to avoid these things. Avoid means to stay away from. So we're going to put it here as our middle ice cream scoop. You can have these three details in any order, and it's still correct, because all three of these details support that there's action that you need to take in order to stay safe in a thunderstorm. So today we have reviewed what a main idea is. Main idea is with informational text. And it tells us what the story is mostly about. So anytime you find an informational text or a story that is true, has all facts, try using the ice cream cone method to figure out what is it mostly about. Look for clue words. Look at the pictures in the title. And also look at the first and the last sentence for a clue. Now I want you to go try it with an informational text.